Now we're going into the Tennessee River. We are here. Fish. By the way guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it out if you can. We'd really appreciate it. Somewhere over here. And here's Little Tennessee. So I guess somewhere in here. Tennessee River runs out this way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the river it ends up in. Naked Jack Lake. That's where we cross over into Central Tang. Gainesville Lake, Wheeler Lake. Right in this area right here is where Dad's from. Okay. Lake Wilson, Pickwick. Land between the lakes. This is the Cumberland River, Lake Barkley, and Kentucky Lake. Okay. <laughs> As I was saying, don't forget to thumbs up on this video and share it out if you can. We'd really appreciate it. Get more viewers, more people seeing and exploring with Will Spirit. The Tennessee River, the magnificent, magnificent Tennessee River is the centerpiece of the Southeast. For thousands of years, people have sailed around it, used its water, and traveled its currents. Starting in high mountain streams, it begins where the French Broad River flows out of North Carolina. It joins its flow with the Holston River in northern Tennessee near the Virginia border. The river then snakes its way south and west into Alabama. It then winds its way north through Tennessee again and into Kentucky. Along the way, more streams join it until it meets the wider, deeper Ohio and Mississippi rivers. People continue to be involved with the river, from sport fishing to paddling, boating and or to swimming or live. Our lives center around the Tennessee River. As people spend more time on the river, our interest in its health is increasing, which will help animals and people alike. Tennessee River Gorge. If we destroy uh -huh. the river's habitat, we destroy the river. Yep. If we destroy the river, we can't even use it anymore. Turtles of the world. What does the future hold? Turtles have lived since the time of dinosaurs. At, in that time, they have spread to every continent except Antarctica. Their unique shells have offered protection, and their lifestyle supports not only the turtles, but many other plants and animals. These traits have served them well for over 200 million years. With such a long history, you might think that turtles will con continue to do well. However, over half of the world's turtles are threatened with extinction. Florida Fish and Wildlife bus turtle smuggling ring trafficking thousands of turtles in August of 2019. Jeez. The problem is, in North America, there are strong laws to protect many turtle species. However, as humans develop more land, turtles are losing their homes. Turtles depend on the small range where they live and cannot simply move to other areas. In Asia, many turtles are taken from the wild by wildlife traffickers. Each year, thousands of turtles become part of illegal trade for turtle meat, traditional medicine, and pets. Some have even become extinct as a result of this practice. Illegal trafficking has started to affect turtles worldwide, including North, in North America. Turtles mature slowly, so it takes many years for them to breed. They also have small numbers of hatchlings, and many animals feed on their eggs on, or the turtles themselves. Their populations do not grow very quickly, so they cannot recover when they are captured or lo lose their habitats. The markets. Turtles, many of them endangered, 
are traded and sold every day in markets across Asia. The impact of this on wild turtle populations is devastating. Keeled box turtle, eight inches, critically endangered. <laughs> Vietnamese pond turtle, eight inches, critically endangered. And four-eyed turtle, seven inches, endangered. There's one right there. You can see them. Let's see where. There's a couple more right here. That one's looking at us. And I think there's another one right there. Apart, but still alike. Like North America, turtles have thrived in Southeast Asia. They live thousands of miles from each other, but many Asian turtles are similar to those found in North America. By looking at turtles' bodies, you can see how they are well suited for the places they live. Amazing adaptations. A turtle's feet tell you something about the type of place they live. If they have feet that look like flippers, they live in the water. If they, are, if they have broad, flat feet, similar to an elephant, they live on land. If their feet have webbing and claws, they probably spend time in water and on land. The claws give them better grip on di different terrains. Webbing helps them swim by making their feet more like paddles. <laughs> Ringing in a new year, sh scoots, the scales, that make up a turtle's shell have rings much like a tree. Counting these rings will tell you approximately how old the turtle is. Some species can live 100 years or more if left alone in an ideal habitat with food and water. Count the rings. How old is this turtle? Are you the answer somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> well, I see one, two, three, four. Is that how you count it? I guess. Three or four years old, I guess. Turtle shells can also tell you something about the animal. Some turtles have prominent spines on the edges of their shells when they are young. The spines help to deter predators. As turtles get older and are less likely to be eaten, these spines may disappear. There's one right there. There's another one back there. Actually, there's two more way back there. They're hiding. Oh, there's one in the tree roots right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> David didn't even see that one. Oh, he's yawning or something. <laughs> Got his mouth open. <sighs> yeah, I agree. Okay, sign over here. Indo Chinese box turtle, eight inches, critically endangered. And we looked at that one already. Black breasted leaf tur turtle, five inches, endangered. And Borette's box turtle, eight inches, critically endangered. The Tennessee Aquarium works to help turtles. We understand that turtles are an important part of our world. For, the, for this reason, we work to support turtles and their population in several ways. Research, our scientists at the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute do research on wild populations of turtles. They also work to help determine where conservation efforts can have the most impact for turtles. Species survival plans, that's what that logo right there means. Like these, they have that logo next to them. Species survival plans, an association of zoos and aquariums species survival plan offers guidance and goals to make sure animals in human care are healthy and successful. The plan or the plans encourage breeding between parents to produce healthy offspring. They can set goals to prevent crowding of animals, 
the Tennessee Aquarium manages plans for seven species of turtles. Assurance colonies. Assurance colonies are populations of turtles kept in human care. This ensures they do not become extinct. The Tennessee Aquarium and its partners keep assurance colonies for turtles that face threats in the wild. Many of the hatchlings you see in our nursery represent the work of those parent partners. Assurance colonies must be kept in human care until the problems turtles face are corrected. Turtle Nursery, Tennessee Aquarium at work. Welcome to the Turtle Nursery. We invite you to look through the window to see some of the newest turtles in the world. The hatching turtles will grow up here. When they are older, these turtles will be moved to other facilities. There, they will become part of assurance colonies. The long-term goal is to restore turtle populations to their homes in the wild. And this is their nursery, where they're working to save some turtles. That's a spiny turtle, 10 inches. And there he is. There's a Sulawesi forest turtle, 11 inches. Roddy snake necked turtle. He's got a long neck. Wow. Let's see where he got his name. Long neck? Yeah. Snake neck? Burmese star turtle. There's three of them in there. Asian brown turtle. Oh, he's right here at the front. He's kind of buried, yeah. Four eyed turtle. He's under his little leafy stuff. Beals eyed turtle. There's a couple of them in there. Uh, yellow. Headed box turtle. And this one's looking at us. There's another one under the little rounded thing back there. Razorback musk turtle. And a little tiny one right there. Barrette's box turtle. There's one right there. McCord's box turtle. Yep, he's hiding under there. <clears throat> Razorback musk turtle is another one. Uh, I think there's a couple of them in there. Big headed turtle. Yeah, his head's kind of big. Yeah. Hands box turtle. There's three of them in that one. And that one back there is trying to climb the wall. <laughs> Forston's tortoise. There's like three of them under the rounded thing. One on top of the other. We have Indo Venice. Box turtle. He's like, he's under his leafy stuff. He is right there. Kohulin Kohulin box turtle. He's back there in the corner. Central American ornate wood turtle. There's two of them back there. Southern Vietnamese box turtle. One right there in the corner. At least one in there. East Indian box turtle. There's at least one in there. And that one right there. A diamondback terrapin. There's a couple in there. And the Arican forest turtle. There's one back there by the bowl. There's one over here by this rock thing. 
pocket fin. Box turtle, four inches, critically endangered. Spotted turtle, five inches, endangered. Eastern box turtle, six inches, vulnerable. And northern red belly cooter, 12 inches, near threatened. Let's see if we can find these turtles. So far, I haven't seen any. Wait, there's one. Right there. I think I got it. Kind of hard to see. I'm not seeing any of the others. Probably hiding. Excuse me. There's no place like home, but it's not the shells on their backs. Eastern North America and Southeast Asia are considered turtle hotspots. These regions are home to more types of turtles than anywhere on Earth. Because of their warm, wet climates, these areas offer a variety of suitable habitats. These include moist woodlands, damp stream banks, and special wetlands called fins. Turtles are good neighborhood neighbors. Most turtles live their entire lives in a relatively small area that they come to know well. Within this vital home range, they contribute much to their communities. Turtles are efficient at spreading seeds from the fruits and plants they eat. As they travel, they release the seeds into new locations with their waste. That keeps the landscape healthy and diverse. They are also great scavengers, eating dead animals from water and land. The world would be a smellier place without turtles' help cleaning up areas where they live. As you relax and explore the world of tur turtles, enjoy the variety of turtles and habitats. Here you can learn what the Tennessee Aquarium and its partners are doing to protect these special animals. What is a fin? Fins are an important and unique type of wetland. A spongy material called peat forms in fins. This particularly this part, this partly decayed plant material holds a lot of water. These special areas require thousands of years to develop and cannot easily be restored if they are destroyed. This one? Huh? Kind of hard to see. Why? Okay. Eastern box turtle, six inches, vulnerable. Landings turtle, ten inches, endangered. Wood turtle, nine inches, endangered. Northern red belly cooter, twelve inches, near threatened. Common musk turtle, four and a half or four point, yeah, four and a half inches, least concern. And eastern painted turtle, seven inches, least concern. There's one right there. I'm thinking that's the eastern painted, maybe. I don't know. Hard for me to distinguish them. Mm -hmm. There's one right there. And you see the shell? Uh huh. And you see the rock uh -huh. under the water? It's got moss growing on yeah. the shell. Yeah. I think I just found, sorry. Yeah, I saw him. He's hiding in that little crevice right there. And he's pretty hard to spot. No, I he's saw the claws first. Yeah. And there's one right there. Hmm? If he pulled the claws in. Yeah, if he can. <laughs> burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Let's see. Is there any others? Yeah. There's that one right there. I don't know if there's any others in here. I think we got them all. Spotted turtle. 
detective stories. The case of the spotted turtle. Is the spotted turtle in Maine the same as the spotted turtle in Florida? This question is one that scientists are working to answer. They know that spotted turtles are found in much of the eastern United States, but do they all have the same needs? That is where detective work comes in. Scientists are analyzing the genes of spotted turtles. This will help them find out how much diversity there is among them. Having a better understanding of the turtles helps build a roadmap for the best conservation actions. First, the scientists want to know where turtles that were rescued from the illegal pet trade originally live. Next, they have to decide if the turtles can be taken back to that spot. If not, the scientists may decide the turtles can join a population elsewhere. The genetic information also helps determine which turtles and human care have enough differences in their DNA to breed. Their offspring may then be released into the wild. These steps will ensure the spotted turtle's population increases and thrives. Top Threats Habitat Loss and Wildlife Trafficking Blanding's Turtle Things aren't always as they seem. Seeing many turtles in an area does not always mean the population is doing well. This was the case for Blanding's turtles. In 2004, wildlife biologists in Lake County, Illinois began to collect data about the turtles there. They observed many turtles, but the scientists found that the population was decreasing. There was a 95% chance that Blanding's turtles could be becoming extinct due to the losses from cars, predators, and illegal collection. In 2010, the Lake County Forest Preserve District started the Blanding's Turtle Recovery Project. First, the scientists addressed any problems the Blanding's turtles were facing. They made a plan to hatch, raise, and release turtles when they were large enough to be safe for most predators, or from most predators. Since 2010, they have released 100 hatchlings each year. In 2018, they found the population had more than doubled, showing great success for, for the program. The predictions now show no chance of extinction. That's good. Top threats. Cars, predators eating turtle eggs, and wildlife trafficking. Burmese star tortoise. Turtles and technology. Sometimes technology helps to make a success story. The Burmese star tortoise is an example. In the 1990s, these tortoises were collected for traditional eastern medicine, food, and the pet trade. By 2004, few of these tortoises could be found in the wild. That year, 175 Burmese star tortoises were seized from wildlife traffickers. These tortoises were divided among three wildlife sanctuaries in Myanmar to create a breeding program. These areas were, and still are, heavily guarded. Since then, through the work of several partners, the breeding program has produced more than 16,000 tortoises in the sanctuaries. 150 of these tortoises were fitted with radio trackers. Scientists locate them every other week. Fewer than 10 of the tortoises that were released have been lost. None of these losses were because of trafficking. In addition, 1,000 tortoises have also been released in the wild. Scientists hope to completely restore wild populations of Burmese star tortoises, a sure sign of success. Top threats, wildlife trafficking. Four-eyed turtle. No glasses needed to see success. The name four-eyed turtle does not refer to a need for corrective lenses. Rather, these turtles have four spots on their heads that look like extra eyes. They are native to China, Laos, and Vietnam, but have been heavily trafficked for food, medicine, and the pet trade. The Tennessee Aquarium has been a leader in studying and caring for these turtles. We want to be sure that this species does not become extinct. The aquarium developed and manages the Association of Zoos and Aquarium's survival plan for four-eyed turtles. Our experts also support the work of other groups that care for and breed these turtles. The four-eyed turtle will need better protection before they can be returned to the wild. Until then, we will continue to care for and teach others about four-eyed turtles to ensure they remain a success story. Top threats, wildlife trafficking.
Did you know you can be a turtle hero? Watch out while mowing and set blades high. Move me out of the road and the way I'm going and plant some berries and fruit. Over half of the world's turtles are threatened with extinction. Some have not been seen in the wild in years. Box turtles need brush and leaves to hide in, wet areas to drink and soak in, sunny areas to warm up in and lay eggs, shady soft soils and leaf litter to bury in, into for winter. Biggest threats, habitat loss, cars and other machines, illegal pet and food trade, traditional medicines, and climate change. How can you help? Do not take wild turtles home. Prevent your pets from harming turtles. Dispose of oil properly and leave part of your yard wild, mow less. One gallon of used motor oil can contaminate one million gallons of fresh water. That is a year's supply of water for 50 people and home to thousands of turtles. One in 1,000 will survive to adulthood. And Dave is doing some kind of a trivia thing, I think. <laughs> David's a turtle newbie, apparently. <laughs> I ran through it three different times. And he still got it messed up. So. Oh. Oh, why protect turtles? Turtles play a big role in the environment. Although there are many kinds of turtles spread across the world, there is an important reason to protect every turtle. How many animals? Imagine you started tracking the numbers of some common animals. To do this, you took the following steps. Begin with one animal of each species. Assume the animal and any offspring breed as often as they are able. Assume the average number of babies for the species are born to each animal. Assume no animals die. Track the number of animals for nine years. How does the number of turtles compare to the other animals? At the end of nine years, there is still just one turtle. This means that taking or killing even one turtle has a big impact for many years to come. And I got the numbers over here. Start down here. Okay. Adult populations after nine years. One adult box turtle with her first clutch of eggs. 38 adult white deer, white tailed deer. 5,203 adult mallard ducks. 16,164 adult wild turkey. And let's see, a million, billion, trillion. I don't know. I said it's like six trillion. Adult largemouth bass, bass 145.96 trillion. Holy cow. Fish breed like rabbits. <laughs> right? Even faster. Yeah. This looks like some eggs or something. Egg mock-ups. Yeah. Not real. I don't know if that's the size of them either. I don't think so. Not current, though. <laughs> How about that? That's probably realistic. Yeah. That's cute. Oh, Back wall. That's a big turtle. <laughs> the world's largest turtle, Stupendemius geographicus. This massive reptile roamed the waters of South America 10 million years ago. Holy cow. That's a <laughs> uh, Well, yeah, but it, was that the size of it? Yes. Holy cow, that's a big turtle. That's probably from a fossil they found. Yeah. Snake neck. Stronghold. Okay. Parker's snake neck turtle. One, 13 inches. Near threatened. Broad shelled snake neck turtle. 19 inches. Near threatened. Australian snake neck turtle. 11 inches. Least concern. And Cybin Rocks snake neck turtle. 12 inches. Vulnerable. Okay. Where are these guys? So there's a couple right there. One of the smaller ones. Yeah. I can't see anything. But if you would move, maybe I could. Okay, there's a big guy up there. Uh-huh, two of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay.
Okay. Yeah, I think it is. No, wait. Um, yeah, it is the same. It's the same. Okay, so that's... A, uh, there's another one back there, I think. There's one hiding in the corner. Okay. Do we, we didn't look at this one. Nope. Long necks down under. Side necks dominate the turtle fauna of Australia and New Guinea. Locally, they're divided into short necks and long necks. The most extreme of the long neck species are called snake necks. It's easy to see why. In some, the neck is nearly as long as the shell. The largest, the giant snake neck turtle, can reach 18 inches in shell length. It rarely comes on land, but when it does, it walks with its neck fully extended. Nose to tail, it can stretch nearly three feet long. Revered reptiles. From North American to Chinese to Aboriginal cultures, turtles have been viewed as symbols of wisdom, health, and longevity. They have they have been found in artwork and stories dating back thousands of years. We hope you now feel inspired by turtles and their stories. Join us in making sure turtles are around for others to appreciate in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Share it out with your friends. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what your favorite part was. If you saw an animal that you really like, your favorite animal. If you've been to this aquarium or any other aquarium around the world, let us know down in the comments down below. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do subscribe and smash that bell icon so you get notifications when we upload new content, which will be, which will be at least one new video every week. We hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next one. We hope you enjoyed exploring the turtles of the world section of the river journey at the tennessee aquarium with will spirit today check out the next section tennessee river gallery